Hey YouTube, Alex here with Alex's Agamids, and uh, as promised after my latest reptile room tour, here is the uh, the official last video uh, in this room. It's kind of crazy to think about that, uh, but more importantly, you know this video celebrates eight years on YouTube. Can you guys believe that? I know there's going to be some of you in the comments that have been here since the start, and there's some of you that have joined along the way, and it is really crazy to think that you know it's eight years on youtube march 2016 on this exact day you know, if if you would have told me eight years ago that i would have even so much as considered the idea of trying to share and document my hobby of keeping and breeding reptiles let alone the aspect of breeding um that's just it, it's insane to me and i I, I have no words to describe it. I'm really thankful for the support from all of you for over the years. And truly, I think without the, you know, I guess ability to share my passions with this hobby, sometimes I question where I would be through YouTube. I've gotten to know some amazing keepers. I have been able to educate all of you watching on you know, most notably the husbandry and captive breeding of Chinese water dragons, but also dialing into the super cool how-to guides with reptile products. I get a lot of comments still on my videos on heat panel setups and thermostats and timers, and it's really awesome to be getting positive feedback from all of y'all on that because, again, I wanted to teach people the techniques and tricks that has helped me as a keeper and by putting it on the uh, the platform that is YouTube it's been able to help many of you so I've got a couple announcements uh, in this eight-year celebration video if you will um, and some of it's good some of it's bad so for the sake of ending on a positive note I'm gonna sort of get to the bad news first and not that I want to call it bad news because I did mention this at the end of the reptile room tour in my previous video to get straight to the point I won't be uploading on YouTube as often the truth is is that the as much as I love using YouTube as a tool to try and provide good information out there there are still a lot of people specifically in the reptile sector that are somewhat using the platform to um, almost cancel other content creators and what I mean by that is somebody may have zero reptile experience and they know how to play the YouTube algorithm to where they can say person X is a horrible keeper and they will absolutely ruin that person's reputation and I I've spent a lot of time trying to justify myself as a a good reptile keeper somebody who wants to share information but the truth is my channel simply is not at the point where I've got millions of subscribers that it doesn't matter what I say which is unfortunate to say out loud that we live in this time of the hobby where we value subscribers and followers over years of experience and I honestly don't want to be a part of these people that are recognized for their subscriber counts versus their actual experience I like this niche community specifically of agamid keepers um, who follow me where you don't care that I'm not some big superstar in the hobby I'm not I'm just a nerd that loves Chinese water dragons and sailfin dragons and all the other cool animals I keep like my corn snakes behind me that I've had for 12 years now and I just don't see the point in trying to continuously upload in feed into possibly becoming part of that group of youtubers that's just not what i want to do again education and knowledge sharing is where i want to stick myself in the ground i don't want to do clickbait i don't want to do um, again you know canceling other people because my way is the best way there are a million ways to skin a cat there are a million ways to keep reptiles and i have done it at various internships and jobs that I've worked at, whether it's setting up racks, bioactive enclosures, heat panels, halogen bulbs, whatever you can name, I have probably worked with it. And that's only in the past, like I said, about 12 years now of keeping reptiles. And I'd honestly be willing to argue the past eight years of those 12 years has really been me working at other facilities and dipping my toes in just about every group of reptiles and amphibians for that matter that you can work with, um, especially, you know, 
uh, I think at the pet shop I worked at, managing dart frogs and aquatic newts all the way to breeding ball pythons and colubrids, you know, a truly opposite ends of the spectrum as far as husbandry techniques, and I've been able to do that. So long-winded rant aside, the plan for the content of this channel is I want to stick more with the lecture-based videos ideas. The benefit of the Zoom lectures is that I can upload photos and it is a boring video and I'm not trying to deter you guys from watching boring videos but what I have found is the type of keepers that actually want to sit down and understand the information I'm presenting are the people that I want to associate with and I want to have educated because somebody who just wants to see drama and trash talking other people they're gonna skip out of that video and that's fine because I don't want to bring that audience to the Alex's Agamid's channel and so because of that, the idea of doing reptile room tours, the idea of doing husbandry videos where you're looking at my enclosures, that's going to become sort of a thing of the past. I will leave up all of my old videos. You can access my entire playlist of Chinese Water Dragon 101, and that'll, I mean, that's good information in my opinion. And if I find something that is different or I discover a new way of cycling water dragons via humidity, temperature, or breeding, I'll make an updated video. But for now, I haven't really changed much of my methods other than tweaking my lighting maybe and changing the, the diets, which again, you have seen in updated videos as my audience. So yes, it sucks because I really wish I could encourage myself to want to do more of the generic, if you will, reptile room tours, but I can't do that because I just don't want to be affiliated with that type of audience, the toxic, you know, the, the Facebook warriors. There's so many other names for that. I simply don't want to be involved with the subsection of reptile keepers online that keep reptiles for the sake of getting involved with drama and arguing versus actually pursuing knowledge. And because of that, that's why I'm going to stick with the Zoom lecture style videos and or simple videos where I'm showing you guys hatchling and breeding projects. And that's sort of where I'll transition to my next announcement is that breeding is going to be more of my personal focus. I busted my butt through college. I am moving out of my parents' place finally because I took a job out of school. And because of that, it'll sort of just become my work-life balance and my hobby breeding balance. So that's why I also don't think I'm going to want to upload too much because quite simply, I'm going to be tired. I don't want to do more work than I have to. I want to enjoy keeping reptiles. And at the end of the day, that's what I am. I am a reptile keeper before I am a content creator. And therefore, if I'm going to take the time to create content, I want it to be useful content, ergo the Zoom lectures and sharing videos of eggs hatching and whatnot. So the, the, the final announcement and I was really hesitant to share this with y'all, but I will, um, I'll just, I'll get straight to the point. Um, I get to finish eight years of YouTube in this house um, with the, the dream lizards. And for those of you that have been following the channel since the start, I'll actually put a clip right now. So yeah, uh, I'll be doing reptile care videos, all that stuff. Um, I'm really good with the exotic animals too, so... Some of your more other stuff, sail fin lizards, the frilled lizards, a lot of the more hard to keep. I am working with Philippine sail fin dragons. So it's pretty cool to think like in that video eight years ago, that was a lizard that I was working with uh, when I was doing my volunteer work at the Wildlife Discovery Center. And here I am now working with Hydrosaurus pustulatus and hopefully um, I will work towards the greater goal of all five species of Hydrosaurus. So honestly, I wanna say thank you it's been a pleasure you know it's i'm trying to work harder and harder towards my goals every day and it's really relieving to see that after you know eight years just on the youtube platform 12 years of being a keeper uh you know the past six years of working you know breeding the chinese water dragons i can take that next step towards producing and hopefully getting to the point where i'm sharing a video with you guys hatching out my first clutch of sail fin eggs it's a start but um, yeah, they're down here in my animal plastic cage. I'll put a photo of one of them. Not really gonna take videos of them because they hate the camera. They stress out way too easily. Really don't wanna mess with them. And 
uh, from everything I've learned through Scott Corning, the SailfinDragon.com or Dragon Attack, who's been breeding sailfins since 1992. He has said that the best way to keep the sailfins happy and healthy is to not mess with them too much. So that's what I've been doing. I've had these lizards since July, so I've had to keep it really under wraps. But I feel confident now that this is the time to share with y'all that since I won't be uploading much, I do want you to know that I am finally taking that step in working with Hydrosaurus. So I'm Alex with Alex's Agamids. Thank you so much for listening, watching, and supporting the channel over these years. And I look forward to uploading on a semi, you know, irregular basis. But every time I upload, I'm hoping that it'll be new knowledge and new experiences that I can share with you. Adios.